بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آ ویری وام ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ان یور انگلش کلاس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو ود دا ٹاپک دا کسٹمس آف ویریس ریجنس آف پاکستان دس از لیکچر نمبر ٹو دیز آر آر لرننگ آؤٹ کمس بائی دی اینڈ آف today's session inshallah all the students will be able to read and comprehend the text deduce the meaning of words given in the text by going through it and answer the questions related to the text recap of the previous lecture Pakistan is full of beautiful natural scenery. The tribal Pathans of the north are brave and physically strong. The strength of a tribe is determined by men's population. The favorite food of the Pathans is meat. The University of Taxila flourished nearly 2500 years ago explanation of the chapter paragraph number 1 pakistan is blessed with breathtaking natural scenery in the north are the snow capped mountains with silvery waterfalls and cool lakes The central part consists of the fertile green plains of the Punjab and Sindh. Then there are the rocky regions of Balochistan and the beautiful shores of the Arabian Sea. These geographical variations are reflected in the customs of the people of various regions of our country. paragraph number 2 the tribesmen and the pathans of the north are strong and brave people they have fought the invaders accessing from the north even today you will rarely see a pathan from the tribal area without carrying a weapon paragraph number 3 The strength of a tribe is determined by men's population. The birth of a son is considered a great blessing. The proud father announces the birth of a son by rifle shots. Paragraph number 4. Sheep are bred in large herds on the green slopes of the northern region. The favorite food of the people is meat. Roast mutton and spicy chapli kebabs are popular dishes. They are frequently prepared at special kebab shops. The Pathans are very hospitable by nature. Their generosity to their guests is well known. They will protect a visitor or a person whom they have given refuge even at the cost of their own lives marriages are arranged by parents the punjab the land of five rivers has been called the heart of pakistan by the founder of the nation it has always been a center of culture and a seat of learning the university of taxila flourished nearly 2500 years ago even today a large number of schools colleges and universities are flourishing in the punjab the habits dialects and dress vary from place to place With nearly every district 
some particular craft is associated. The inlaid furniture of Chinyot, the sports goods of Sialkot, the cutlery of Wazirabad, the pottery of Gujarat and Bhavalpur and the embroidery of Multan are famous all over the country. Paragraph number 6 The Punjabis are religious minded. They give a great deal of importance to their festivals and fairs which are connected with Urs at the shrines of famous saints. People from all over the country gather at these shrines, sing devotional songs called Kawalis and participate in the festivities of the fair. The famous Mela Chiraga held in Lahore every year is the Urs of Saint Madhulal Hussain. Hundreds of thousands of people participate in the Urs of Hazrat Baba Farid Shakarganj at Park Patan and that of Data Ganj Baksh in Lahore. Paragraph number 7 The Chopal is a meeting place for the villagers where they settle their disputes without approaching the courts. They also discuss their day-to-day -day problems and seek advice. Generally, they gather for the sake of pleasure of being together. Sometimes, youngsters sing folk songs. Paragraph number 8 In a village wedding, the close relatives of the bride and groom come to stay well before the wedding. The ceremonies may go on even after the wedding. The entire village participates in the function. The youngsters celebrate the wedding with great enthusiasm. Paragraph number 9 In Baluchistan, which is made up of vast barren lands and dry mountains, extreme weather makes life quite difficult for the people. Even though large and small towns have developed, many still live a nomadic life. They keep shifting their homes. In winter, they come down from the mountains and in summer, go back to their homes in the hills. Paragraph number 10 In extreme cold weather, the Baluchis place a sandli, which is a local stove with a little burning coal in the middle of the room. It is placed under a table and a large quilt or a blanket is spread over the table. All the family members get under the quilt or the blanket to keep themselves warm. The Balochis lead a simple life. They spread a blanket on the floor, place the food in the middle and sit around it to have their meals. They usually sit and sleep on the floor and entertain their guests in the same way. Well-to-do families use carpets instead of blankets. Paragraph number 12 The rocky area of the region is mostly barren and water is in short supply. Women have to carry water from long distances. They wear most of their jewellery all the time. The traditional jewellery of Balochistan is beautifully designed. This is your homework for today. You are required to complete exercise D at page number 100 of your textbook in your notebook. I hope you will find today's lecture both informative as well as interesting. Inshallah in the next class we will continue with the same topic. Until then, it is Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.